Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Word of God, who I am talking about is Jesus Christ, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the Word of the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What I want to talk about is by experiences, we will learn, but also by the Spirit of God, if we have never been through that experience of whatever that subject may be, we learn by the Spirit of God by that way also. And that's what um, many people learn by. And what I mean by many, I mean by the few, the actual remnant that the scriptures talk about. It actually does not take a rocket scientist to, or anyone to understand why this rock is, is a rock. But apparently people will make any assumption or any um, conspiracy theory to say the rock made itself or humans made themselves, no. It doesn't take a, a fleshly man to figure this out of how this rock was made it does not take a righteous man to figure this out either on his own merit however how to know is by Jesus Christ remember when the word of the Lord appeared himself in front of Job and he said, were you there when I laid the foundations of the earth? Were you there? And the very big crazy thing is, by God we will know all things. With man it's impossible to know. It's impossible to know how this rock was made. Or how this, like the fabrics of this hat was made. Or it's impossible to know how, how this was made. Or how the water was made. Within, with man, it's impossible. But with God, you will know all things. And I don't mean how a genie will know or a wise man, as they would put it. It does not take those kinds of man to understand things, but by God you will know. Yes, we have been given a mind, as some have mentioned to me, and and some of you may say, yes, God has given us a, a mind, but our mind is flesh, it is limited. Even the words I could even say are limited. But the infallible word of God, who is Jesus Christ, whom his father is as well, is also limitless. The strength I have is, lim is limited. Us flesh that are human have limited strength. The demons to us seem like limitless strength, but actually their strength is limited because they are even limited what they are allowed to do. But the word of God, who is Jesus Christ, is not limited by scripture. He has no limit. If we limit ourselves to follow Jesus, then we will never progress in our walk with Jesus. We must progress. We must move forward. We must walk on that narrow path. We must be baptized in water. We must be baptized in the Holy Spirit. These things may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Because man does not know God, but a man of God, a woman of God, a child of God knows God if they hear his voice and follows after him. It is no different in the days of Noah to now and is no different in the days of Abraham to now it is no different than in Moses time to this time it is no different than the days of Samuel to now 
King David to now, to the days of Isaiah, Jeremiah, and the prophets of old to now, it is no different than the days of Jesus Christ to now. It is absolutely no different in the days of Paul, Peter, John, John the Baptist, any disciple to nowadays, because there are still disciples of Jesus that are being made as we speak. So are we going to be limited by our own merit? Or are we going to be limitless in the name of Jesus and by his power of the Holy Spirit? Because by his Spirit, we will know all things. Not in the way that the world would expect it to be, but by the way how God expects it to be and how he tells and speaks. May Jesus bless your day and night.